Okay. Kane, how have things changed for you? Um, to be honest, not a whole lot. I'm still here, which is great. I switched offices, which is uh, just for my own um, kind of, hey, I need to change the scenery type of deal and a different perspective, I guess you could say. I also switched sides of our uh, staff table, just so again, a different perspective on, on life a little bit. But um, uh, other than that, uh, really there's not a whole lot that has changed. Um, what, what does assistant head coach mean in this? I think it means exactly what the title is, where I'm in charge of everything that Coach Choke doesn't want to do. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's a, uh, it gives me kind of a, a, a chance to look at everything uh, as, as far as from the viewpoint of the entire program, as opposed to for a long time it was just defense, defense, defense. And now I get an opportunity to really work with um, the whole program and, and really have to change my perspective in that, uh, in that way as well. And I'm excited about that new role as far as uh, learning how to, again, uh, take, take another step towards being a head coach someday. And this is another step in that direction. What's it like having Ty Greenback on the staff now, having gone against his defense? This is, you know, yeah. So many times. yeah, no, it's, it's, this is, it's going to be fun. I can tell you that much. Um, Ty and I have known each other for a long time, uh, obviously we, in a competitive role. Um, on the field, but off the field, we've always uh, got along really well and respect each other because we view the game of football the same exact way. Like, not the same exact way, obviously, but uh, very similar philosophies on uh, how the game of football should be played and uh, how you should run a defense. And uh, so I'm excited uh, about the opportunity to work with Ty, and um, I know we're going to have a great time together. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, with your experience running a, running a defense, what, what can you take from this past season, all your experiences, and kind of take out from that into this season going forward as in your new position? Yeah, and that's the beauty of this profession is, is you get a chance to learn a lot every single season. Uh, last season was a, a big learning experience for me in, in regard of a, a new role and, and uh, um, help coordinate a defense and play call on Saturdays. Uh, so I learned a lot uh, from last year. I, I learned some things that uh, – I want to continue to do. I learned some things that obviously I need to get better at as a coach. Um, I learned how to, uh, what it is to be in that coordinator role. Um, so there's a lot of things I can take from, from last season and, and both positive and negatives. And that's what I think you, you have to do as a coach if you want to get, if you want to try and get better. You know, we, we want to get our players better by having them learn from every mistake that, that they make uh, or also any of the positive things that they do. You want them to build on those build on the positive, learn from the negatives, and that's what I, I want to do as a coach um, every year, but more importantly, really every day. How does this coaching staff differ from uh, either coaching staffs you've been on or played on? Mm -hmm. you know, it's tough to say at this point just because of it, we're brand new. This is really the first week um, that we've been together as a whole staff, and we're still not entirely whole yet. Um, so, uh, But just from being around these guys, uh, I'm excited about the, uh, the chemistry that we're going to have. Um, together and just the working relationship and I think that's going to be huge. Um, any fo football team is going to really represent that coaching staff to a certain extent and if your coaching staff has a, has a great chemistry together I think uh, in turn you're, you're going to find that within your team as well. It's always a hectic time of year just in terms of recruiting. What's it been like as the staff come together? Obviously you were within, in touch with guys as the staff was coming together. What's it been like? selling guys on, mm -hmm. like I say, a staff and a program that is not quite yeah. complete. Yeah, you know, it has been different in the fact that in most Decembers, or a lot of December, I'm usually on the road in California, a lot of January, I'm usually on the road in California at this time, and I've not yet been out of the state of Montana, minus for some holiday stuff. Uh, so that part of it's been a little bit different. I don't like as much how much cold weather I've had to deal with, to be honest with you. Uh, but uh, the recruiting aspect is going to be this year, for our recruiting class, it's going to be, or just the process in itself is going to be a little bit of an anomaly. Anomaly, is that the right word? Um, because it's just so, such a different situation. Um, but we're going to adapt and, and adjust and, and get a recruiting class in here that we feel is going to be quality. It may not be quantity, but it's going to be quality and we're going to be, uh, it's going to be a fun, hectic process to get to that uh, signing day. Are you looking forward to not having Maybe as big of a role, defensive role as far as like 
play calling, things like that. I mean, mm -hmm. how can you uh, talk about taking on that role last year, how it went, and mm -hmm. now maybe taking a s step away from, from that role? Uh, I'll miss play calling. I mean, that, that part is fun. That, that game days are always fun. Um, there are certain aspects of the coordinator position that you won't miss. Scripting practice every day is a pain, um, but it's a necessary pain, but I won't miss that part of it. Um, I'll still very much be involved in, in everything that uh, goes on with what we do defensively. So there's really not a whole lot of difference minus the fact that uh, when it's all said and done, ties the guy um, as far as the final saying decision. But I know that we're, we're going to work really well together. I'm, I'm looking forward to that aspect of, um, you know, I'm pressuring him to bring a little bit more heat and pressure, and then he calls it, and then he's got to an answer for it. But uh, <laughs> no, um, no, it's, it's a, a step back per se uh, in the role of not play calling on Saturdays, but my role of, of help game plan, strategy, all that stuff, to me, I'm not going to step back at all in that regard. Uh, practice planning, all that stuff, uh, I want to be just as much involved in that as I, as I have been. Can you talk about Ty, just how difficult do you think it was it for him coming here? I mean, you've been here mm -hmm. for such a long time. Could you have ever envisioned yourself making the same That same type of move. That, that is, you know, my situation is a little bit different because this is my alma mater. This is where I play. Um, but it's very similar in the fact that uh, Ty and I have been at the same school for a long time as far as in the coaching aspect. Um, so uh, I couldn't imagine going to that to the University of Montana just because that's um, I played here and that's my alma mater and that's a rival and it's okay. It would be a that would be a tough move, but at the same time, uh, professionally, you still have to always do what's best for you mm -hmm. at that time. Um, and if at that time that was the best move for me professionally, then I would have to do it. Um, and when I come to the point where I have a family and that's, that's what I'm looking out for as well, and I have to look out for them, and that's the best move for me professionally, then I would have to do it and would not hesitate one bit to do it. Um, and then it would, be, it would be awkward initially, which is the uh, putting the maroon and silver on, um, as I'm sure it was for Ty. But uh, I'll tell you this right now, it, it's, I know he's going to, be all in and already all is all in and uh, I know I would be doing the same thing. You are where, where you are and who you are um, no matter where you're at. Kane, with all the young linebackers you have, how do you think, what do you expect from them under this, in this program? Uh, a lot of growth, a lot of growth and, and I, you saw that from them the previous or this previous season as, as the year progressed and as they started gaining game more or gain more and more confidence in what they were doing. Um, and I just want to continue to build on that for them. Uh, you can sense that in, in just after the season was over and done with and uh, kind of our exit interviews that I want to do with these guys every year, uh, you can just hear it in their voices how anxious they are to get back to work and get going again because they know they have the talent and ability, they see it in themselves, and uh, I see that, and I'm looking forward to continue to, to work with them and build on, on what we've already started. What do, you, what do you think will be the biggest changes under Coach Cho, just in the program in general? Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's, I think Coach Cho is going to bring uh, just a lot of energy, um, enthusiasm, excitement. Um, he's going to really build relationships with, with these guys, um, and the guys are going to feel that. Uh, he's going to be, I think, coming from an assistant coach, position for as long as Coach Joe's been doing it and uh, have an opportunity to be coordinator in, in a lot of different ways, defense coordinator, special teams coordinator. He's got a lot of experience. Um, I know he's going to want to still touch as many players as possible on the, on the coaching side of things. And I think the players are really going to see that and feel that. And in turn, uh, all of us as coaches are, are going to learn a lot from him in that regard as well. Um, so I don't know if that's really how, I think that's just the best way to describe what Coach Ch Choke's going to bring um, as opposed to differences. Um, so if we, that answers what you're looking for. We, we, we talked last year so much about the, just the defense, but yeah. now you said a little bit more of an overseer role as far as the whole program was. How would you evaluate the state of the program right mm -hmm. now, and what is the things that need to change the most going forward? Mm -hmm. I think uh, right now, uh, obviously, five and six is not where Montana State should be or will be. 
uh, Montana State should be in the upper echelon of, of the FCS year in, year out, should be competing in the playoffs and not only in the playoffs and being happy to be in the playoffs, but um, making a run at the national championship. We have the support um, that a lot of schools don't have. We have uh, the stadium that a lot of schools don't have and would, would kill for. Um, so we should be in, in the talk of a national championship uh, a lot of those years. And that should be our, our highest standards, championship standards and expectations every single year. Um, and I think we have to strive for that within our players. We have to create championship habits within our players, within our players and, and championship attitudes within our players. Um, and it starts with us as coaches. And I think uh, we have a, a staff in place here that's going to do that and have that championship attitude and mentality. And uh, in turn, the players are going to feel that. And, and um, that's what we're going to see from, from our guys as far as the performance on and off the field. How about this? Were you to stay? I know it was, uh, you didn't know. There's this uncertainty there when yeah. there's a regime change, but mm -hmm. how happy are you to still be here? Um, I'm ex you can't, uh, that uncertainty and um, just the, where you see your colleagues and you see other colleagues in this profession, this is a tough profession. And no matter where you land or end up, you have to be very grateful and blessed to know that I have a job. Uh, in a very competitive profession, and I'm doing what I love. I'm, I'm able to, to be a positive role model, a role model and influence on, on kids at a very influential age. Uh, so I'm blessed to be able to turn to be able to do it at my alma mater and the place that I played. You couldn't, for, you couldn't ask for anything about it. You really couldn't. So for me to get that opportunity again, uh, it's awesome to survive a couple changeovers and still be here. I feel very blessed and thankful. What sort of influence do you think last year will have on you personally and the rest of the team? I think it's uh, it, it's going to be a driving factor uh, for myself in the fact that I know that uh, we can and will be better, and, but it has to be, it can't just be because we want to be better. You know, it can't just be because, oh, we want to be a lot better than five and six. We want to win the big sky. You've got to go out and get it. You've got to go out and earn it. And, um, and I think the players sense that and will sense that um, because everyone in this program is going to have that urgency. Have you guys talked scheme yet much? Uh, we have not had that opportunity to really dive into um, overall. We've talked about overall philosophy of what team we want to be, what our identity wants to be, both offensively and defensively. Uh, but we have not really dived into the finer details of schematics yet. But um, uh, again, Ty and I are, are very similar in our philosophies, I know, and I've watched Ty's defenses, and he's had great success, and, and uh, so I'm excited to get a chance to work with what he's going to bring to the table, along with the combination of, of what Coach Cho has, has done um, in his time as a defensive coach, um, coaching a lot of different positions and a lot of different schools, have been on a, and seen a lot of football, so I know he's going to bring a lot to the table in that regard as well, so um, it's going to be a, a great blend of ideas and philosophies. Since you're, you're a guy that's familiar with a lot of these guys, so you're obviously going to be leaned on heavily. How do you balance that with these next four weeks of intensive recruiting? Uh, the, sorry, repeat that again. So many guys, all the coaching staff, they're going to be wanting to know about their guys and trying to get a gauge of the team and stuff like that. Uh, How do you balance yeah. that yeah. with yeah. also trying to trying scramble to for towards side yeah. game and all that? Yeah, and that's, that's a great question. And that has been, um, I think, uh, the last however many days we have really – hunker down and, and try to knock out as much of the first and foremost what we have to get done here with our players here now before we go out and, and try and sign anybody as far as the recruiting class is concerned. That's our number one priority. Um, and so uh, we went through our roster very in depth uh, these last however many days to, so everyone on our staff has an idea of who we have right here on campus, because that's, again, the most important people are who we have right here on campus. Heard back Big Nell got moved to full-ride scholarship, is that true? I'm not sure if I can uh, comment on that or not. Okay. okay. So I'll leave that one alone. But uh, I'll say this, Mac Big Nell deserves a, uh, a full scholarship, and, and I know he will earn one uh, whenever that day may come, if it hasn't already. already.
Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it.